that the National Media Commission is calling for a review of laws relating to security and media, especially those about prohibited areas within the context of the Constitution. It follows uh, a comprehensive study into the assault of two CCTV journalists, Caleb Kuda and Zoe Abubedu, by national security operatives sometime last month. The commission, among others, established the invasion of the premises by the operatives was wrongful, while the handling of Caleb Kuda, who is a journalist with a station, was also wrongful. I'll be reading to you uh, details of those statements uh, by the National Media Commission, which, among others, is revealing that the uh, national security operatives didn't do a good job. So, yeah, that's a statement you have on your screen there. Let me quickly run through the very fine details of a statement. It says, the National Media Commission has determined that the treatment meted out to Mr. Caleb Kuda by the Ministry of National Security Operatives and the subsequent invasion of a premises of a station that City FM and City TV on Tuesday, May 11, was unlawful. The Commission took the view that all institutions in a democratic state must act within the law and adopt approaches that reflect democratic values. Now, it goes ahead to say, for example, that this was the outcome of a commission settlement meeting with the uh, various stakeholders, the National Security Ministry, representatives of CTTV and CTFM, the journalists in question, Caleb and then Zoe Abubedu, after their review. The commission welcomes the actions taken by the National Security Ministry to sanction some of its uh, representatives who may have conducted themselves in an unlawful manner, as is being reviewed by the National Media Commission. Ken Ashigbe, Dr. Ken Ashigbe is an advocate for press freedom. He's also the CEO of a telecoms chamber. He joins me on the line for a conversation. Thank you very much, Doc, for your time here on Midday Live. I know you are a very loud voice when it comes to advocacy for media freedoms. You've also called for a comprehensive probe into this latest incident. Are you satisfied by the outcome of this by the National Media Commission? Well, I, I think it's a, it's a good beginning. Um, and uh, it's good that the NMC is beginning to do what we've all pushed, you know. And so this is a good start. Um, however, considering when this statement has been issued, and you also know, for example, that um, the Lieutenant Colonel who, whose secondment was uh, cancelled, abrogated, and was referred to the armed forces um, to investigate and take disciplinary action, has rather been given a command. Uh, so it's uh, quite interesting that the NMC um, statement is quiet about that. Uh, that definitely is undermining the investigation that was started by the National uh, Security Ministry. So um, I don't know whether the NMC is going to issue another statement to deal with that, but that definitely is a worrying one that we need to ensure that um, justice is done so far as... Uh, the involvement of the gentleman is. It cannot be that all that happens to him was that his secondment was uh, cancelled and then he was sent to the armed forces and then the armed forces slap all of us in the back. They won't do any investigation and rather he'll be given a command, virtually almost applauding him for what it is that the National Security Ministry have found him to have done wrongly. Mm, I'm sure in the coming days we'll have the comprehensive report by the NMC on this particular matter. But would you advise, for example, that from here, the company or the media house can head to court to seek some uh, remedies on this particular matter? Well, I think it is important that we get to the bottom of it. What we should all bear in mind is that uh, the NMC has mentioned the fact that um, the attack on Caleb, the attack on CTFM was wrong. But then what happens to those who perpetuated this, uh, this heinous uh, crime. You know, we need to ensure that the laws of this country are applied. That includes the militaries, uh, the armed forces, own disciplinary code as well. Uh, should apply to people who we give, uh, we pay our taxes and to arm them and all of that. So we need to ensure that the three policemen that have been mentioned, what has happened to them, you know, who are they and what processes are taking place. And we also should bear in mind that it's not only Caleb's issue, though I know CTFM petitioned the, the NMC. I think that the NMC also should not just be waiting for people to petition. When things have come and they are in the open, like the gentleman in Asenkri Gwada was also assaulted by some national security people, 
uh, what has happened to that case, for example, and what is also happening to Caleb now, so far as you know, physically, what is it that he, what is that, were there any injuries, is that being taken care of? That that also uh, needs to be dealt with. The issue of accessing wrongly, you know, their devices and deleting, invading their privacy and all of that. What, what, you know, all of these issues are things that we need to consider. And I think also the NMT also makes points about uh, the way journalists, if you have to do, for the public interest, do some... Uh, uh, investigative work, uh, the way we need to do that. I think it's also important as media houses, as uh, publishers of media, owners of media, we put together skits. It cannot be uh, that a journalist wanting to go and do this uh, would go alone, uh, you know, and nobody knows about it. You know, the issue in Turkey where that journalist was killed, you know, the talent, Tashwood could have been killed in that space and nobody would have known to that that had happened because he would not be back, back to tell his story, you know, and and so we need to be able to start teaching our journalists, providing tools for them to be able to do these things, such that the journalists do not become the story, they don't become martyrs, uh, but are able to do these things that would be in the public interest. Thank you very much. Dr. Ken Ashigbe, many years, the media manager, he's an advocate for press freedom, also currently the executive director of a telecoms chamber there speaking to us. We are